Let's take a look at how to loop audio so that it plays more than one time. And let's also take a look at how to fade audio in and out. So let's go ahead and use an audio file. And if you have anything loaded into Toon Boom Studio, that's fine. I'm going to use this applause.mp3 sound. I'm going to click at the top here where it says the name of the file. I'm going to right click and choose edit sound. Now that the audio has been loaded, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can just see what we're doing here. Now, one thing I want to mention is that whenever you decide to loop your audio, the first instance of your audio is counted in that. So as you see here, it says number of loops zero, but we still have an instance of this audio. I'm going to go ahead and type in three here. And you'll notice that we have one, two, three. So keep in mind that whenever you type something, keep this as one. So one, two, three. So that will make this audio play three times in a row. I'm going to turn this back down to zero. Now also what we can do is we can use what's known as an envelope to make the audio fade in and out. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so we can see what that looks like. And I just want to see the end and the beginning here. This blue line allows you to create handles that you can use to move up and down to control the volume of your audio interactively while you're in this editing element here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click anywhere like so to add a new handle. And when I click again, I add another handle. If you want to get rid of a handle that you created and you really don't want that, just click and move your mouse all the way up and it's deleted. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag this guy down. And I'll drag this one down too. Since we're working in stereo, we're dealing with two channels and we can change the fade in and fade out in on each channel on an individual basis, which is kind of cool. I'm also going to move this handle over like so. What this does is it will start the audio off very low. Now where it's down here, the audio is going to be silent. It's going to start to fade in right about here. So let's go ahead and see how that sounds. So as you see there, we were able to fade that audio in. That's very handy to use. And you can always change the duration of the fade or how powerful it's going to be by just moving the handles. And you know, you can go all the way out here if you want to have a really long fade in. Let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Likewise, you can fade out. Now what I normally do is I look at the timeline and I determine where I want the fade out to begin. And that's where I put my first handle. For example, I'll click here and then I'll click right about here to add another handle. And I'll move that guy down like this and I'll move this one down here and I'll go ahead and play this to see how it sounds. Now, a cool thing about this is that you can add a handle in the middle of your audio. Let's make believe that while you were recording, the person who was speaking coughed right about here. And I'm going to add three handles here and I'm going to drag down the one right in the middle just to give you an example of how you could hide a mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and play it from here. Now, of course, that wasn't very smooth, but I just wanted to show you that if you had a very small gap there, you could potentially get rid of a mistake. Of course, the best thing to do is to make your edits in another application, such as Soundtrack or GarageBand or Fruity Loops or Acid or anything like that. You want to pretty much use Toon Boom Studio to just bring your finished audio in if possible. So make sure you do all your heavy editing in another application and then come here to add your fade in and fade out. The reason I suggest you do that here is because depending on your animation, you might change your mind. And instead of going back to your other application and having to re-export that, you can simply move these handles around like so and decide based on your animation how you want that to happen. So once again, to get rid of a handle, move it up and that deletes it. And you can always click and drag to move them. And you also have the ability to, to work in one channel at a time. So if you only want to fade one channel, just go ahead and move that handle up and now your audio will only fade out on one channel. And let's just hear what that sounds like very quickly. So the audio stays loud in one channel and fades out in another. If you have a, a set of headphones on, you can definitely hear that separation. It's kind of interesting. So once again, that's how you can loop your audio and also add fades to fade your audio in, 
out and also to change the flow of the audio while it's playing so you can hide mistakes or just create an effect.